What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys another video for Pokemon Sword and Shield. We're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Inteleon team right here. So if you are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes a second of you guys' time to help grow the channel. So on this team right here, like I said, it is a big Inteleon team right here. Inteleon's pretty solid in ranked double battles, considering you just roll out with him with a life form. You can get the speed boost with the Wimscott, and he hits like a truck, and he is super fast as well. He has Hydro Cannon for stab, and that's big damage even when he's not Dynamax. Dark Pulse for coverage, Air Slash for that speed boost. When you Dynamax, you can go Max Airstream, get the speed boost for your team, and Ice Beam as well. Wimscott over here has that Tailwind, Taunt, Fake Tears, and Dazzling Gleam. Normal Wimscott kind of with that Prankster and the Focus Sash. We got this Mr. Mime right here, who I'm actually excited to play and show off here today because he's holding an Evo Light. He's not fully evolved in this generation as you have Mr. Rhyme ahead of him. So you can give him that Evo Light and get that defensive boost. He also has his Screen Cleaner as its ability, which is awesome. So if they want to go into like a Grimstar, I'll set up screens. I can just be like, nah, son, throw that Mr. Mime out there and be like, Ye see you later, screens. This thing's rocking out with Fake Out, Helping Hand to help out maybe our Inteleon because they actually go like hand in hand if you want to lead them together. D Max, Helping Hand, big damage. Freeze Drive for Water Pokemon and Icy Wind to drop Pokemon Speed. That's type nice. Got the Togekiss over here with that Super Luck and Scope Lens. Been seeing a lot of this on the meta as well. Super Luck and Scope Lens both, both boost your critical hit ratio. So you're going to get tons of more crits with both of them on. It has Air Slash, Dazzling Gleam, Heat Wave, and Follow Me. Follow Me is type nice like anytime with the Togekiss. You guys already know that deal. Then we got this Bisharp, Defiant Bisharp with that Assault Vest. I'm actually a big fan of Bisharp. It's fast. It can hit hard. And especially with that Defiant ability, if they want to go into like Intimidate right off the bat, I can throw out my Bisharp, get that attack boost, and get rolling from there. He has Iron Head for Stab, Sucker Punch for Stab, Assurance for Stab, and Low Sweep as a nice little coverage fighting move. And then in the final spot, we have this Jelly Scent. And this Jelly Scent is going to work well against physical attackers as it has Will-O-Wisp that will have physical damage and Strength Sap, which will drop uh, physical attack as well and give us some HP back and it'll also work very very well in Trick Room as he is holding the Room Service. Room Service will lower our speed once Trick Room gets playing and then we can drop down and outspeed everyone in the Trick Room. But guys if you like to use this team for yourself not the code is at the bottom of the screen let me know how you do with it and let me know for question of the day who is your favorite regional Pokemon out of any region it could be Alolan it could be G Galar whatever mine is Alolan Raichu I think that thing is so cool it's like surfing around on his tail like that is so dope. Mr. Mime's a close second, or Mr. Yeah, Mr. Mime, because Mr. Rhyme's holding Pokemon. But yeah, he's a close second, but Alolan Raichu is my boy. But guys, without further ado, let's get on with some ranked double battles and try to get some wins with this team. First battle on its way. This guy has a Durant team, which I'm kind of scared of because Durant hits hard, and he just kind of counters a lot of my Pokemon here. We don't really have any big names to kind of take him out. Um, how should we do this? How should we go around this? Um, I think he's going to lead the Ndidi and the Durant, maybe, or the Grimstone. I'm definitely going to be bringing my Rhyme in the back end. But he's got to be bringing Durant and Gyarados. He's got to be. Or Durant and Sylveon. One of those. Uh, do I still need my Inteleon? Inteleon's rather fast. I can have Prankster up here. Actually, outspeed it and do some work on it. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Maybe D-Max right, right off the back. Keep going Mr. Mime in the back end. Because he does have that Grimstone, who I can see having screens. I can definitely see him having screens. And I think I want to throw Bisharp down here as well. He has no Trick Room. And Bisharp's a nice physical attacker that we're going to need in that back end. Well, let's get rolling. Let's get rolling with this team. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. Come hang out with me. I'd love to see you guys there as Season 3 is coming up. And I got new teams coming for you guys. I got Incineroar team in the work. Venusaur team in the work. Blastoids as well. I'm going to be showing them off on the channel. I have rental codes for you guys. And I'm going to be playing them live on my Twitch page. So get over there. Okay, right, so Sylveon and Grimstone gets a lead. Okay, that's totally fine. I think I still Dynamax. He set up the Tailwind. I think he's going to set up a screen, but once I get this Tailwind up, I could totally just go into a, uh... A, what's it called? My, uh... My Rhymey boy. I get the speed advantage. I can start boosting up our speed. We go for stab. I could set the rain. This is big. 150 base. Jeez, man. This Max Geyser with the Hydro Cannon. Um... He's going to go into the Gyarados. I say we just throw this off. I say we just throw this at the Sylveon here. Start doing some work on it. We have that Life Orb damage. Fake Out's going to pop here. Did I not... Whoa, whoa, hold the phone. Did I not D-Max? Bro, I didn't D-Max. Are you serious? What a way to start. What a way to start. It's okay. It happens. Hyper Voice is going to pop here. Do I even D-Max anymore? I don't even think it's worth it. This thing is Throat Spray. I thought I hit the D-Max button. I guess I was just looking at Hydro Cannon. Oh man, dude, this game. This game, my dudes. We're just gonna go Dazzling Gleam. 
Okay, so it looks like uh, Bisharp's probably going to take this one over and try to get us to win. Hydro Cannon's going to fly across. I'm kind of mad. I'm kind of mad. Sucker Punch is rolling through. We're going to take out my Inteleon. Bruh. Bruh, come on. The Fake Out wouldn't have hit us or flinched us. And we probably would have did some big damage over there on that Sylveon. That's whack. That is whack. Okay, Hyper Voice is going to take out my Whimscott. It comes down to a little bit of a... We're in a tough little situation here right off the bat. I, I've been doing that recently. Like, I think I Dynamax, but then I don't. But then I don't. Oh, now we have to go out into these two guys. We should have the speed advantage as well. I think I'm just going to helping hand and take out this. Uh, I don't even think I need a helping hand here. I think a stab iron head will just take out this Sylveon. Say, see you later, punk. I'm going to get out of here. But helping hand as well. I mean, you know, I'm going to fake out this Grimstar. I'll just tell him to get out of my face. He doesn't sucker punch me. We'll go after this, this Sylveon here. I don't really want to go into a Dynamax just yet because I feel like we will outspeed him and be just fine with this turn. Can we get an extra turn out here? See what happens. Yeah, get flinched, my dude. Iron Head pops here. Yeah, yeah. Big damage. Take him out. Like I said, Sylveon's gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. We got to make up for Gene's bad play. A bad play right off the bat. I seriously thought I had Dynamax. It could have been a nice little Max Geyser. We wouldn't have got flinched. But look at my boy, Mr. Mott, just hitting the little bouncing boogie dance. Look at him. Yeah, kicking those feet. Yeah, yeah. Get it, my dude. Okay, so we're in here. Gyarados pops. Uh, he doesn't really have too, too much to take out my Gyarados. He could have Sucker Punch. Um, I think I'm going to... I'm going to freeze dry up on this boy. I'm going to freeze dry up on this boy. And I'm going to D-Max and take out the... What's it called? Take out this Grimmy Grim. And then get that defense boost, which will eventually help our team up against this physical attacking Gyarados. He's got to be Dynamaxing the Gyarados. We do have the speed advantage for two more turns, I believe. With the Tailwind. Oh, we're going to win this one. We're winning this one, guys. Then I'll show off the Inteleon. This one's just to prove that I can make the comeback. This thing's in a Beast Ball as well. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I always want to get, like, metal replicas of, like, most of the Pokeballs. Especially, like, the normal ones. So, like, the Pokeball, the Great Ball, the Ultra Ball, and the Master Ball. Just, like, I don't know, like a normal palm-sized Pokeball. But, like, full metal. I think that would be so cool. Just have, like, a perfect metal replica of it. I was going to say, he's not D-Maxing. He is. He is. The Gyarados gets the D-Max. The Freeze Charge is going to come out. It's not going to do too, too much damage. But it's going to be some nice damage as it's super effective to water types. That's what Freeze Charge does. Which is awesome. And then I, eventually I can Icy Win when the... Uh, I'll probably Icy Win next turn. To be honest. Because our Tail Win will end. And then I'll, I still want that speed advantage. So I'll start Icy Win to drop the speed here. But the Sucker Punch does roll through. We eat that one up all day. Not very effective. Dude, get it out of here. Sucker Punch not doing anything. Freeze Charge comes out. Look at that damage. That's some nice damage coming out from the Rhyme Ski. And then the Steel Spike is going to boost our defense for this Gyarados shot here. The Sharp coming up big here. I think he's going to throw a Geyser out on us. And then I can Icy win this. Drop the speed of both the Pokemon. And potentially take out the Gyarados from here. Let's see. He's got to be going for a Geyser to set the ring. Am I right? Or he's going for an Airstream. Let's see what he does. Oh, he goes for a Quake. He, this thing's rocking out with EQ. I want to my Bisharp. Come on, Bisharp. Eat that up, my dude. Bisharp eats it up. Mwah. Mwah. Tasty snack. Tasty snack. We can take out the Gyarados from here. To be honest, he's going to boost his special defense. Tailwind Peter's out. Ooh, that's actually tough news for us. I thought we had one more turn in that. Ooh. Ooh. Mr. Mime will not outspeed that Gyarados anymore. Who's he going to go into from here? The Whimsy Poo. He's going to set up a Tailwind. That's going to be rather scary. Um, so he's just going to hit me. He's definitely going to hit me. Do I double up? How do I play this one? I think I do drop the speed here, but then he's just going to have Tailwind and it's not really going to do much. I could Helping Hand. I think I do helping hand and take out the Gyarados here. Because my Mr. Mime should just be chilling up against that Whimsicott. Then Max Darkness or Max Steel Spike. I think Steel Spike would be the better call. Give us that defense boost. No, it's not very effective. Come on, show me Darkness. Okay, we'll go with Darkness. That's still Stab as well. And the helping hand, this could potentially KO. We kind of need it to KO. The fact. Helping hand. Dude, give me that. Thank you for helping out, Mr. Mime. This is all for the comeback. Energy Ball coming in here. Are you doubling up into my boy? Do we outspeed you? We do. That's type nice. Come on, take him out. Surprised he didn't set up that tailwind. Take him out. Oh, helping hand, no. Helping hand says no. That is whack. That is so whack. Are you serious? We're going to go down here to this max quake probably. Come on, eat it up, Bisharp. Oh, my boy. My boy, you eat up your shot. We eat up ours. Let's go. But that Wimscott might take me out with an energy ball. Boosts his special defense. Uh, how should I play this one? I think I just take out the Gyarados. I think I double into the Gyarados with a freeze dry and a uh, and a steel spike. Where do I steel spike to the left? Because if we do survive, my... Mm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna steal spike to the left side. I'm gonna steal spike to the left side. Energy balls. Eat it up, buddy. Nope. Okay, so. Oh, this is coming down. This is coming down. Let's go, Rhyme. Or not Rhyme. Let's go, Mr. Mime. Oh, my dude. Free strike pops out here. Oh, we outspeed. We outspeed. And we have that boost. And we have that defensive boost with that Evo. Like, they haven't even touched me yet. Looking good. Looking good. This comeback could almost be complete. Even though I totally screwed up and you guys know it. I totally screwed up in the beginning. Uh, free strike or... I mean... I don't really need to lower the speed stat. I think free strike is just a better move here. Take off with Sash. This thing has to be Sash. We should be fine. Our defense is huge. Let's see. Watch us soak this one up. This is gonna we're like a sponge. Look at that. Look at that. Eat that one up. And he's gonna drop our special defense, but this should still do more than half, I believe, as it's stab super effective. Let's see. Yeah. Takes down the sash. And we should have this one in the bag. In the bag. Comeback complete. Comeback is complete. Man. We would have dominated if we would have Dynamax right off the bat. We would have dominated. We went down so early. <laughs> Our free is going to pop here and get us that win. Let's get it. Bye-bye, buddy. GG. GG. 1-0 with this team. Hopefully, we can Dynamax next turn and actually show off how this team should be played. <laughs> Thank the Lord that we brought Basharp in that back end for that last game. His Dynamax saved our buns. He saved our buns here. We're going up against his Trick Room here. So, definitely, our Jelly Sand's got to come in here with that room service. I got to watch out for the Gastrodon when I go into my Jelly Scent because it has Storm Drain and it will just boost his special attack. I should bring in Rhyme here. Do some work up against the, the what's it called? The Gastrodon with that Freeze Dry. And then who should I go? He has so many Trick Room setters. I mean, can Trampus set Trick Room? I know Chandelure and uh, Bronxon can. Um, we have a Speed Advantage regardless. Like, we have a Speed Advantage regardless. So, let's just go Inteleon turn one. I kind of want to bring Basharp. Uh, I'm going to bring Tokus in the front end. And I kind of want Mr. Mime and Jelly Scent in the back. I kind of want to go with this. Yeah, I kind of want to go with that. I kind of want to go with that. We have a Scope Lens. So I could potentially get a big crit and help me win the game. Like, say it goes to the Bronzong. And we just crit it with a Heat Wave. That could be huge. That could be huge. But let's see who he does lead. I got to watch out for that uh, Rhyperior. I definitely have to watch out for that Rhyperior. I think we should be fine if I can get my Jelly Scent in there. Drop her speed in the Trick Room if he does get it rolling. And then we can like strength sap it or burn it. I wonder which would be better. What goes right here in turn one? Do I jump on the right here? Watch this. He's leading. He's going for that Gastrodon. He's going for that Gastrodon. That's a fact. That's a fact. You want to play games with me, huh? You want to play games with me? I'm not messing around here. Um, I'm going to go Heat Wave. Do I even D-Max? I'm a D-Max. I'm not going Geyser. Because he's trying to bait the water move. He's trying to bait the water move. I can lower the special defense stat of that Bronzong. We'll just double into the bronze on here. Try to get Trick Room out the way. You trying to play games with me, my dude? Are you trying to play games with me, my dude? Go ahead, swap into your boy. Go ahead, swap. I dare you. We're going to take out your bronze on. That would be huge. That would be huge to make this play here. Like, if you're leading right here, like, there's no way you're staying in here against a special attacking Inteleon. Like, come on. It would dump on your thing one hit with a uh, Max Geyser. Just be gone. But we do Dynamax this turn. Look, we did it. Yay. Jeans did it. What you Who you? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He is staying in. I mean, I think we're fine. Maybe we get the burn on the right period. That would be type nice. But still, if I can get this Bronx song out of the way, imagine if this thing protects. He has to be going for a trick room. What's going on here? Let's see what happens. Yeah, you got to be going for a trick room. Let's see how much damage we do here. Heat wave's gonna come in here and clean that up as we're gonna have a special defense drop. If we can get the burn with the heat wave, that'll be huge. I am so surprised. I am so surprised at this. Like, this is crazy. He doesn't have a weakness policy out or anything, so maybe we can survive the hit. We're gonna take out the bronze song. Show me the burn on the right here. Come on, come on, give it up. Give it up, huh? Huh? Yes! <laughs> Let's go! I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. Big burn. We're gonna be, be able to eat up a shot now. Trick room's not gonna come in here. Lightning. I think we should be able to eat that up. It's not stab. Yeah. Easy. Easy. And you're burned, my dude. And you're burned, my dude. You are done. This game is like over. It is over with. Play that one so nicely. We got that burn as well. I think we might have been able to eat that up even without the the burn. Because it the burn halves physical attack damage. And is that was that a physical move? I don't know. I don't know what physical uh, electric move he can learn. But the Conkeldor comes out here. We're chilling. I'm going to just geyser up on that right here. And I'm going to air slash into the other one. Get it now. Let's get it. 
Or I can Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam now. This is also stab. And we get a potential flinch and big time crit chances. We did crit on the Bronzong. Dude, Inteleon actually grew on me so much. Like, he, when I first saw his uh, picture of what he looked like, I was like, uh, he doesn't look too cool. And now I absolutely love him. I absolutely love Inteleon. <laughs> Let's go, dude. See you later, my peer. I'm surprised he stayed in. It's like, okay. It's like, that's an odd lead. You never lead right period. Like, that is so weird. To lead right period. Because, like, you're you're not going to outspeed. And we can just dump on your next Pokemon. Let's go. Air Slash could potential KO here. Is that a crit again? Was that a crit? Dude, Super Luck and Scope Lens is seriously OP. Like, we're just critting left and right. Like, this happens to me all the time. Like, I had somebody go into a Dazzling Gleam and wipe out both my front end Pokemon with double crits. It's like, oh my god, why are you critting so much? We crit it twice in two, two turns. Chandler pops out. Get out of here, Chandler. I'm just shooting a Dazzling Gleam and going to a Max Geyser. Oh my god, sweep. We just swept them. Easy, dude. That's what you get for leading your uh, leading your boy Rhyperior with that Bronzon. We just dumped on it. Dumped on the Bronzon turn one. Got the burn. Ate up a shot. Dumped on your next two Pokemon in one shot. So just going to cancel it. Go ahead. Do it, buddy. Easy, baby. Easy. <laughs> This team we're 2 0 with now. We got a comeback game, and then we showed off how this team can roll out with that Italian in the front spot. Clean sweep. Clean sweep. Um, hopefully that uh Tokis goes first. And we get a th three crit of three for three on the crit board. Do it. Do them dirty. Three for three on the crit board. That's it. Come on, do it. Oh, no crit. No crit. <laughs> No crit so far, but we're going to hop into a third battle. We might actually be able to push four battles in this video, but we'll see after the third one. Hopping into our third battle. This guy has a Vanellux Mudsdale. Probably a uh, Stamina Mudsdale. No one really has Swagger on here. And a competitive Milotic. And a competitive Milotic. How am I going to go out with this one? Looks, uh, looks a little tough. I think I still want to bring my Inteleon. Inteleon kind of does work here. I can see him going into his, uh, his Milotic maybe turn one. But I got to get that speed. I got to get that speed rolling with that Whimsicott here. I kind of want to bring in the Inteleon as well as it has so much coverage and can do some big damage. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. Who else do I want to go in here? Probably Bisharp. I do not need Screen Cleaner. I do not need Screen Cleaner Mr. Mime here as he has no way of setting up screen. Maybe Aurora Veil. Yeah, he can set up an Aurora Veil. But does that break Aurora Veil? I kind of want to see. This is just a, like, I got to read the ability description. Let's see it. Let's see it. When the Pokemon enters battle, it's effect. Ooh, and Aurora Veil. Ooh. Okay, so get in here, boy. Get in here. We're going to go in with this team right here. We don't really need the Jelly Scent. No Trick Room action. But we can't break a War Bell. That's type nice. That is type nice. Good thing I did read that because I didn't know if it was just like Reflex and Light Screens, like stuff like that, like Safeguards. But War Bell works as well, which is type nice. I cannot wait for G-Max Lapras as well because her G-Max, her or his G-Max move, is, it sets up on a War Bell. But I'm pretty sure it just sets it up right away. I don't know if you need Hail in there. But he, go, he goes Whimsy and Vanellix. Whimsy and Ice Cream Cone. Ice Cream Cone wants to smoke. Uh, I might D-Max turn one. And just Airstream boost this so we get the speed advantage. Snow Warning. Leave me alone, my dude. He's going to Snow Warning us. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's Tailwind. Let's Tailwind and bump, bump, bump. I could set the rain and take the whole... Let's call it out the way. We just could just take the water out the way. I meant the hail out the way. Let's do it. Let's take the, let's take the hail out of here for turn one. I think we should be fine on the speed board with our tail went up. We should totally be able to outspeed the Vanellix and then not even worry about it. Hopefully he goes for an Aurora Veil and we just change the weather on him and he can't even get a turn on. But if he does, then I just swap into my what's called next turn. My Mr. Mine. Say, nah, Aurora Veil, get out of here. Green Cleaner is so good. Like, I was going up against somebody with it. I never really use it too, too much myself. But I had all my screen set up. He was just like, boop. I'm like, what is this screen cleaner when I first learned about it? It was dope. It was dope. Just took out everything. But double tailwind's going to pop here. Go ahead, show me my Inteleon outspeeds this thing, just takes away the hail. Because he could be going for a blizzard as well. Okay, cool. Inteleon does outspeed. We're going to change up the weather. He could be going for a blizzard, which is 100% in the hail. Or he could be going for an Aurora Veil. Big damage. Brings him down to the Sash. I know my Wimscott should be able to outspeed. We can take him out next turn. And what's he going to go for? An Aurora Veil? Show it to me. Show it to me, baby. What you got for me? What you got? He's going to go for a freeze dry. You hunk of junk, dude. Big damage on him. Um, I'm going to pick up the double KO here and boost our speed. I'm going to go Dazzling Gleam to take out that and then an Airstream to pick up that KO, baby. I got to watch out. He has to have like the Mudsdale in the back or something along those lines. 
Or is he gonna swap his Vanelx? Let's see what happens. Vanelx is gonna to protect. That's totally fine by me. That's totally fine by me. We get a little bit of airstream going out here. They bye bye to the one sky. That should one tap it. Yep, and we get the speed boost as well. So we definitely have the speed advantage in this match. And I hope he does go into that Mudsdale because we can go into a stab. Max Geyser in the rain. In the rain. That's big damage. But do we think he's going to go into the Mudsdale? He's got to be a Salt Vested as well, which is rather scary. But I could totally go into a, uh, a what is it called? Uh, bu -bu bump. Fake Tears. I couldn't think of the name. I was thinking of Taunt. I was like, Taunt does not drop Special Defense. This is a Hexerous Max Burst. I could double on that thing turn one with uh, Ice. I could go for an Ice move. We should be able to outspeed as well. Actually, I'm not going to go into an ice move. I don't want the ice. I do not want the buff that's going around. I'm just going to go Dazzling Gleam into a... I should be able to take it out with the geyser. It's not very effective. Uh, airstream? I'm thinking we should be able to take it out with a Dazzling Gleam and an Airstream as we are life for. We get that speed boost once again. We're going for it. And then it comes down to like a 2v1. First oh, this thing has first impression, bro! I was not expecting that. What a Haxorus has first impression. That is so big. That is so big for him. But that's okay. We can take him out next turn. We can take him out next turn. And he's life for him. That's some game. Could maybe take him out this turn. Let's see it. Nope. Does not take him out. But brings him close. Whoa, dude. First impression, Haxers. I thought we were going to be sitting pretty with a little bit of a three on one. I could go Mr. Rhyme here. And kind of have my Bisharp in the back end. Because does he have that mud sail? Does he have that mud sail? I do have Sucker Punch. I kind of want to save my Bisharp for that back end. I really do want to save that Bashar for the back end, because I know my Wimscott is going to be fastest on the field. I can go for Daz and Gleam, take out that, what's it called, that Haxorus, and there comes the Mudsdale. We can drop it into, like, a freeze try, which would be nice. Let's get it. A little bit of Daz and Gleam action. Go into a little bit of a... I could fake it out, but you know he's totally going into the Dynamax on the Mudsdale's end. Come on, baby, 3-0, dude. This team's nice. We're going for 3-0 here. This team is so good. I'm really liking that Inteleon lead. Like, Dynamax and Inteleon is actually kind of tough to get around when you're going up against it. So, I like it. I'm a big fan, my dudes. Big horse. Big horse. The match still isn't over yet. Like, Mudsdale is so good. It can absolutely just tank out my team. He's a beast. He's a beast. That's a straight fact. Especially if he's stamina. I gotta start fake tearing him after this. Extras is going to protect. That's totally fine. Dazzling Beam's gonna pop here. I'll take him out next turn, then. I will take you out next turn, my dude. Get him, Rhyme. I know we have the speed advantage. Like, we don't. there's no need for us to boost speed. That's something that's a little bit... Ooh, and the stamina comes out. But we're all special attackers besides my boy. Besides my boy, uh... What's it called? What's his name? Bashar. So, this is what I'm saying. I don't know if this game's over yet. Like, this is gonna be a little bit of a pain. This is gonna go into a rock fall on my Rhyme. Not my Rhyme. My Mime or my... Go for my... Ooh. Let's go on my Mime. Yeah, dude. I think he has this one in the bag. Mudsdale's just so good. He's just so tough to get around here. Like, I'll have the speed advantage here. I don't know. Low sweep could be big damage. This thing's heavy. Doesn't low sweep, it compares on the weight of the user? Like, does when you Dynamax, does your weight go up? That could be type nice damage. Tailwind speed out on both sides. But I still think we're fine. We have to go for a low sweep. Like, this is this is terrifying. He's going to take me out one shot with the... With the, what's it called? The Quaken. Dazzling Gleam's gonna have to pop here. But I'm pretty sure Low Sweep goes after that. Let's see. No, but it doesn't take him down like that. These are make swift attacks and targets like lower the target speed set. Okay. Um, bu -bu -bum. Iron Head probably is our best bet. Hmm. Target already taking some damage in the same turn. This attack power is doubled. Okay, we cannot. We're gonna go fit first. We're gonna go first here. So, Iron Head, I guess. Oh my god, I wish we had protect. This is coming down the wire. Dazzling Gleam's gonna take out the Haxorus. Comes down to a 2v1, dude, but this thing's so bulky. My, uh, my Bisharp's not really doing much here. And he's gonna go out here to a Max Quake. I'm gonna go down to a Max Quake. This is terrible. Look at that. Mm, nothing. Poo poo damage. Poo poo damage. <laughs> Mudsdale's just so good. Max Quake should be flying out here. Oh, a Steel Spike. I wish I had Protect. That's by to the Whimscott. Mm. Ah. Ah, man. No. I can't believe we're gonna lose this one. It's so tough. Just when you think you have the, like these games in the bag, the Mudsdale comes out, and the Mudsdale is so good. Like he's just sweeping my team. That stamina, it's so strong. I, I I don't really have much to kind of do anything against this thing. I mean, Ironhead's probably our best bet once again. I have no protect. I don't have a Dynamax. Let's see what happens, Ironhead? <laughs> Only way we eat this one up somehow, and we continuously flinch. 
That's the only way. But the quick's gonna come out here. Yeah, that's stab. Rest easy, guys. Two and one with this team. We're gonna hop into one more battle, a fourth and final battle for this team. Dang, I'm still kind of mad. I thought I had it, and it was just like Mudsdale. Oh, like, bro, dude, no. Mudsdale pops out. Dynamaxes pick up the win. But like I said, let's hop into our fourth and final battle for this video. Fourth and final battle coming at you guys. We're gonna try to go three and one with this team, or two and two, either or. That's still pretty good. Fifty percent or seventy-five. They're both pretty good. They're both pretty good. But if you are hanging out with me in this fourth battle, give me a little bit of hashtag fourth battle squad in the comment section down below. The comment section down below. But this guy is a Charizard team. Potentially going Charizard one Scott. My like Inteleon kind of rolls out strong here. Let's go Whimsy Inteleon. Uh, he has no screens. He has no screens. So I think we're fine. I think we are fine with the what's it called? Without the Mr. Mime. I think I'm gonna go Basharp. Basharp be sharp. And then into the Togekiss. I think Togekiss can roll out in the back pretty well. Where do I go Jelly? Jelly Belly. We'll go Jelly Belly. Nah, we're gonna go Togi. We're gonna go with that double crit item and ability. Togekiss right here. Try to pull off some mean crits with him. But I think he's gonna go Whims Charizard. And I think my Italian should be able to outspeed that. Dude. Italian's fast. Like, I feel like he's so, like, underrated with his speed. Like, especially up against, like, Charizards. Like, everyone's like, oh, Charizard's so fast. You freak Dragon Boy. And I'm like, nah, son. I'm a nice aquatic amphibian. And I'm gonna come at you and be faster than you. <laughs> Let's go. Alright, I'm ready, I'm ready. Dancing over. It's over. No kiss comes out with the Duraludon, which is pretty tough. He has the max landing. I might have to swap here. I might have to swap here. Could be going for a follow me. I think I am going to swap this boy right here. Uh I <laughs> wanna go into my Tokus. We're gonna go into our salt vest for sharp here. And potentially go into a, a low sweep later. Set up this tailwind. This tailwind! Look at tough here. Look at tough here right off the bat. Like the round on's just so good. It's so tough to play up against. He's probably gonna D-Max here going to maybe a follow me. What are you doing, my kind sir? Intellion, get back here. We will use you later. The sharp. Get in there, buddy. Yeah, look at my dude. He's not Dynamaxing. He is not Dynamaxing. He might just be going for just a nice T-Bolt on us. Let's see what he does. Or he might just gonna be going for a flash cannon. We'll see, but it will be nice for later. So I know I can't go into a low sweep next turn. He does go for the T-Bolt, which is nice. Yeah, we don't eat that up too, too well, actually, with our Assault Vest. But we should be able to eat up another one on one HP. We go for an Iron Head. I think I am going to go for an Iron Head. This thing might be buried. buried. Then I'm going to just roll into a nice little... I could taunt that thing so no follow me's after this. Let's taunt it up. Let's give it a quick little taunty pill. We have the Talon set up. Oh, he does withdraw the route on. That's type nice for us. That is type nice for us. The Whimsicott does roll out here. I'm going to throw an Iron Head on this thing. Is this thing Babiri Barry? Oh, double withdrawal. Double withdrawal. I guess a Rotom over on that side. Uh, we'll taunt the Rotom. I mean, that's fine. Maybe no Will-O-Wisp on us. Taunt's coming out here. What you want, my dude? <laughs> you get so mad. Iron Head comes. Yeah. Nothing. There's like nothing, but still, we get that damage off. Um, bum, bum, bum. I'm going to roll out with an Iron Head on this Whimsicott. And then... Hmm. Could fake tier. Could fake tier for later. I could fake tier for later. I think we are gonna fake tier. I think we're gonna fake tier the Rotom just for later. Maybe when my Italian comes out here, he'll be minus two on the special defense board. We can just roll out and make Mwah! get out my face. And we still have our Togekiss in the back, which is nice as well. I could Dynamax her. I could always Dynamax her. And so Togi. With that high crit chance, like that could be some big damage. I'm just scared of that T-Bowl. That T-Bowl is what's throwing me off. He's gotta be going for a uh, Tailwind here. Maybe trying to take out my Bisharp. He withdraws the Wind Scott. That's totally fine. Goes into his Duraldon. Togekiss comes in here. We're going with an Iron Head on you. You gotta be the Beery Berry if you're pulling off stuff like that. If you're pulling off stuff like that, you gotta be the Beery Berry. The special defense does get the drop. Iron Head flies through. He's not the Beery Berry. That's a bold call. We get the KO. We get the KO. That's big news for us. What you think we were doing? The Wind got super effective to that as well. Can we eat this? I don't think we're gonna eat this one. Yeah, I was going to say, that's Stab. That is Stab T-Bolt. Um, that's fine. We have Fake Tears up. We have the Speed Advantage. She has no Tailwind up. Now it's time to go into our Inteleon, and we can D-Max from here. And we can D-Max from here. Hey, I have the Speed Advantage. I could just Fake Tear up on the Duraldon and drop. Oh, uh, guys, it won't do enough. But he's just going to double into me. Oh. I could go Dazzling Gleam. I kind of want to get that. What's it called? I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should die next year. I'm going to go with the Wimscott. That's type nice. I don't know if I should die. I don't think I'm going to Dynamax. I think I'm going to save my Dynamax for my Tokus. I think that might be my best option. 
I don't even know. This is so hard to choose from. I want to get the rain going. I want to get the speed advantage as well. I think I'm going to take the whole speed advantage on this one. And just drop it to a dazzling green. I think that's the player. I think that is the player. It's going to witch all real time. That's totally fine by me. We'll get a dazzling gleam as this Doral line goes through. And we're going to potentially... Well, we will take out the Whimsicott. Then in. Here comes the Dynamax now. Okay, we're chilling. I was going to save it for my Tokus, but now I'm just like, I don't know. I mean, Tokus could be fine on its own without it. With that Super Luck and that uh, Scope Lens. The only thing I'm worried about is that the Route Like, it's getting the D-Max. That's a fact. I'm going to have to start fake King, I think. I am going to have to start fake King. We're going to take out third Whimsicott now, but he might get the Tailwind up. But we still should be fine with the speed. Let's see what he does here. What you want, fool? Whimsicott goes for the Tailwind. Here comes the speed. Hopefully, my Whimsicott can be alive for enough turns to set off another Tailwind. But we are going to get the speed boost here. Sash, it is Sash. That's why we dig up for the Dazzling Beam. We'll pick up the KO on that end and do a little bit of damage to the Route on. This is the on easy the Life Orb or Assault Vest. Not too sure which one. I mean, he has the T Bolt. He's not Life Orb, actually, because he would have took damage when he used the T Bolt. So he has to be uh, Assault Vested. There we go. Not bad damage, though. Did we get a crit there? Well, this thing might not even be Assault Vested. That was some big damage on him. Our Tailwind does Peter out here. Um, I think I could Dynamax just out speed and send a nice little Max Darkus. It's actually KO, because that thing is low. That thing is low. But I have to get the Tailwind match here. The Tailwind match. Max Darkness. Get him. Get that the route on. Get him out of here. Um, do I fake tier? No, I have to Tailwind. I have to Tailwind here. I have to make sure I get that speed advantage. Because if I don't have that speed advantage, we're not even going to be able to get off a shot. They're just going to double T-Bolt into me. Like, bruh, bruh, double takeout. I have the Togi in the back. Togi Kiss might actually come up clutch to actually get us this win in this fourth battle. Could be nice. D-Max and Ally Switch. Okay. A little bit of Ally Switch. That's totally fine. This Max Darkness... Could potentially take out that uh, Rotom. We'll see what happens here. Tailwind gets the pop. No D-Max from him. No D-Max. That's a, that's a little scary. We'll get off this Max Darkness. Drop the Special Defense as well. Hey, nice, baby. You gotta remember, this thing's probably Stalwart. My Wim's got will outspeed next turn. So Dazzling Gleam will take out the Rotom. And this thing is Stalwart, so don't even waste my time going for a follow me. Don't even waste my time going for a follow me. e -Bow comes out here. We should be able to eat. Yes, we do. Okay, because it's not stab. It is not stab. That's tight, nice. Um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, let's finish this game. Let's go here and then into a dazzling beam. Let's go! Ah, ah, ah. I'm an animal. <laughs> let's get it. This should be game unless I don't know if something crazy happens. I'm surprised he didn't D-Max there. He probably would have got the kill. He D-Max a little too late, my dude. A little too late. That max lightning would have took me out in that ally switch. Would actually work. But you stink. You stink, my dude. Jeans is the best. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> so, Kiss will outspeed him regardless anyway. We'll get this double hit on him. Wow, she's going to pull off something crazy. She's going to pull off something crazy. Nah, yo, you're done. Max Darkness is going to come out here. Do a decent amount of damage here. Take him out. Boom, baby. Dazzling comes in and we can dance again. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Woo. Woo! Jeans is the best, baby. Three and one. Let's get it. Let's get it. He goes for a discharge. Crits on both. Takes them both out. I missed my dazzling gleam. <laughs> one taps my uh, toga kiss. I'm like, bro, what you mean? <laughs> but GG, three and one with this team right here. Solid, solid, solid. I'm actually a big fan of this Inteleon team. It works so well with that Wimscott. I've seen a few teams doing the same thing with that Inteleon Wimscott as Lee. Not the exact same team, but that same like idea of getting that Inteleon out. Dynamaxing, doing big damage. Also, I love the Basharp on this team as a physical attacker with that Defiant ability. We could boost our attack. We didn't really get to show that off, but still, it's there and it can do some work. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.